here we are on the Great Wall just outside the city of Gubeku. Uh, we started hiking down there and we've come up here. And now we're going to continue this way. This is the unrestored section that we're going to hike today later on about evening time we'll be entering the restored section of the Great Wall kind of a sketchy section you have to climb down right here to continue on down the wall This is an unrestored guard tower. It used to have a dome ceiling. This section of the wall is still unrestored, but you can see the the bricks on top are in okay condition. The south side of the wall still has the top. The north side is missing its top. And this guard tower is in pretty good shape. You can walk through it. And the wall continues that way. It's just before noon now. We started our hike at 9 this morning. When we started hiking it was 14 degrees Fahrenheit and now uh, midday it's going to reach the highest of 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is a good time to stop and have lunch while, before we continue on down the wall. You can see the wall continues off into the distance, but we're going to have to take a detour right here and go around because all of this is a military zone, so we have to go around it. And you can see a uh, the next guard tower is, is bricked up, you, you can't go through it. This guard tower has been not restored, but is structurally stabilized. I guess to prevent it from falling over. Uh, you take this detour that goes down and around and meets up maybe a couple kilometers past here on the other side of the military zone. Here's a home that's 
alongside the trail that detours around the military zone. Home's been abandoned. It has three rooms. It has a two fire pits. There's uh, some woven baskets. There's a bedroom. This is a bed that has a fire pit underneath it that's used for having a, a warm bed and it looks like the, uh, the insulation is made out of newspapers and uh, it looks like the date on them is from uh, 1989 so I guess it was in use at least until 1989 Okay, we just crossed uh, between wall sections. We, we left the Ubeku section and now we're in the Jinshinling section of the wall. Uh, we're still on the detour route because um, the wall right here is still in the military zone. Uh, you can see there's a modern day military guard tower beyond the old one. So you just get to admire the wall from a distance right here. And you can see these guard towers still have barbed wire on them. The wall continues. I think I can see the section where it opens back up to the public right over here and you can see way off in the distance over there those guard towers are the ones we hope to get to by this evening we've picked up a fellow hiker along the trail um, but I asked him if he had purchased a ticket and he did not reply so I think he's on the trail illegally hmm We're now past the military zone and we're in the park. So we're up next to the wall. We just have to hike to the next uh, gate so that we can uh, go inside and, and get in on top of the wall to complete are hiking. We can now see inside the main part of Jinshan Ling Park. There's the, the green cable cars over there, beacon towers, and uh, I think we'll be able to enter this guard tower and get back up on the wall. I think we'll be able to make it at least to where the cable cars drop off, if not a little bit further before going down into the valley where our hotel is. We're now in the Jinshan Ling scenic area. We came from way over the hills in Gubeku, came down through here. This is the first exit we could have taken that goes down to the Jinshanling village. We're going to keep going a little further on the wall to 
the next exit. You can see this this section of the wall is is fully restored. It has ports for defense. It has these holes down at the bottom for seeing what the enemy is doing down below and throwing rocks on them. And you can see the the wall continues on in that direction. There's a mountain way off in the distance. You can't see anymore because the uh, heavy smog has rolled in from Beijing. But yesterday we could we could see the guard towers going all the way up that far mountain. This is just about sunset. Well, not real sunset. It's more like a smog sunset. The sun just disappears into the smog. But, you know, same thing. And that's where we came from. All the way over the hills. And now we just need to walk back down to town. We've made it back to our hotel down in uh, Jinshanling village. So this is where we left from this morning and now we're returning back tonight. Now let's see what we can get for dinner. bonus footage time. It's about one week later and we're at Hushan Great Wall. This guard tower is the eastern most point of the Great Wall of China. And from up here you can see the Yalu River on this side is China. On this side is North Korea. That's all I have. Thanks for watching, folks.